Colleagues, I rise today to oppose Senate Bill 574. Although Senate Bill 574 is still a very bad bill and awful public policy, I would like to take this time to uh, thank the members of the House Education Committee for the changes that were made in the H-1 substitute. The substitute adopted at least got rid of parts of the bill which were blatantly anti-taxpayer, such as the part of the original bill which would have retroactively changed millages already voted on and passed by the public. I'm going to ask you may speak to the bill in its current form with the adopted substitute, but not the process of it, nor what the bill was in its current form. The chair recognizes Representative Liberati. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. But the problem with Senate Bill 574 and what the Education Committee failed to fix in its substitute, and I would argue it can't be fixed, is the stripping away of accountability for the expenditure of the public's tax dollars. We, all of us in this chamber, as elected officials, know the importance of accountability. We are accountable for the spending of our constituents' tax dollars, and we have to prove we are spending it wisely. Most of the taxes paid by the citizens of Michigan are not voted on by its citizens, but instead are voted on by us, their representatives in government. And as I said, we are accountable to them for how we spend it. But what about regional enhancement millages? They are voted on by the people and pass or fail because of the vote of the people. Who is accountable for how that money is spent? If the voters agree to higher taxes, Mr. Speaker, I think we can agree. They want to make sure there are people accountable for how those tax dollars are spent. Right now, any regional enhancement millage tax dollars go to local school boards to use as they see fit. Just like we in the legislature, legislature spend state tax dollars as we see fit. Local school boards are accountable to their constituents, just like we are accountable to our constituents. But what about charter schools? If this bill passes, who is accountable for the tax dollars citizens voted to spend on schools and then are sent to those schools? Do, we have to, do they have elected school boards who answer to the voters? Do charter schools required to hold yearly public budget meetings to listen to citizens' input and concerns? Are charter school books required to be audited every year and the results made public? Do the citizens who voted for increased school taxes, who voted to spend more of their hard-earned money on schools, get to vote for who decides how to spend that money in the charter schools and vote them out if they are not good stewards of that money? Every one of us in this chamber knows the answers to those questions. How can we as a chamber decide to take accountability out of the tax equation for local school millages? When I was an elected school board member, I always thought accountability was a good thing. When I got here and as an elected state representative, I understood the importance of accountability even more. So thank you again, Mr. Speaker, and I encourage you and all of my fellow representatives to support accountability for anyone spending our citizens' tax dollars. I encourage you to vote no on Senate Bill 574.